what is up with these married men? I've dated several, unno- unbeknownst, unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst to me. I did not know you were married, but I've dated several married men. And it's like, like annoying because, okay, I'm very upfront. You know what you're getting with me. I'm very upfront. So I'm not going to, like, I'm telling you I want to get married. Sorry, Charlie, if you're already married, you obviously can't get married to me. Like, what are you doing? And like, how disrespectful to your wife. But anyways, I like one time this guy had traveled to New York City and I was on, I think Bumble at the time. And so he matched with me and he's like, yeah, like I'm this like big, you know, big exec. And like, I l- work in Lower East Side Manhattan. He was like playing himself up. I was like, okay, whatever. He's like, yeah, I'd love to take you out. He takes me out to, to dinner. We have a great time, but he starts getting very touchy feely and he was hot. Like I didn't really mind it so much, but like, <laughs> but like he was all like groping my legs and then he like, we ended up making out or whatever, but it was like, he was, he was more on me than I was on him. And so I was like, okay, well that, that was cool or whatever. And then like that night, I think, or the next day he ghosted me and I'm just like, what happened? Like what's going on? What happened? We are like, you know, um, texting back and forth or snapping back and forth. And he was like, oh yeah, um, I actually have to leave town. Um, I got on, on a business trip, you know, whatever. And I was like, okay. And then time passed and like, he just, he just stopped messaging me and responding to me. And then I, okay, this is a tip ladies. I Google image reversed his photo. Oh, yes. <laughs> I do that too all the time. Yeah. So go, if you really want to know if a guy is like real or catfish or whatever's going on with him, really just take his image and like Google reverse image it. And you'll see like his online profiles, the, the Bumble photo that he had on his profile with him in a suit. I Google reverse image that photo. And it was the day of his wedding <gasps> to his wife. Oh my God. This is like, everybody's a Tinder swindler. Even though he wasn't getting money out of you, he was getting someone else trying to get something else out of you. (laughs) Well, he didn't get all of that, you know? We just like made up, but like, but still, I was like, I was in the shock, the utter shock that I was in. I was like, sir, you had the audacity to not only like be on Bumble as a married man, but you use your wedding photos as your Bumble photos. That's bad. What is wrong with you? I repeat, who is raising these men? Who is raising them? Oh my God. Literally. And I'm just like, bro, this was out of this world. I'm sorry. No, like, I mean, I was just like so disappointed. I was so angry. And I was like, I had all these emotions. Cause like, it's just like so ridiculous. And another thing that happened, another married man. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I'm really telling you guys tea. So I was on the, I was commuting. Like I was on the LA subway. There is a subway in Hollywood. I was in the LA subway going somewhere. And this really hot guy, like I'm talking about, he was a boxer. He had a boxer's body. He looked like Mike Tyson. He was tall, dark chocolate, like big arms. Mm. And he comes, he comes up to me. He's like, wow, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. You know, and like starts chatting me up. So we start talking, we ride the subway and like, you ever meet, meet someone you have an instant connection with? And he mm-hmm. like, I had an instant connection with this, tall dark chocolate man and I was like (laughs) I was like oh my gosh and so we were like talking on the subway we just like he's like I really would like to take you on a date I was like great he takes me out to my favorite like Italian spot in Los Angeles and we get there we're having a good time he's like walking me home because we live in the same area but obviously I I wasn't taking him all the way to my home you know I just met the guy Mm -hmm. um it was like a whirlwind of romance anyways (laughs) (laughs) I was like yeah so I was like trying to like keep my boundaries in check even though I thought he was really hot I was I thought he was really hot but I was trying to keep my boundaries in check so we're in the vicinity of my house and I was like okay this is where you can like stop off like you know we can part ways and he's like are you sure you don't want to hang out more we can like just go to your house and like talk and chat like girls don't fall for it like guys like always want to like talk and chat like late at night at your house you know what they want like you know what they're trying to get so I'm just like no you can take me on a second date and you know next time we can we can think about that but like you know this is like a first date like I, I was really nice meeting you we made out we had this whole make out session in the middle of the street in this the middle the of the Met. This is the same day we met. <laughs> and so, yeah, so like that I don't do the, I don't do this normally. I know this like sounds scandalous. I don't do this normally. I just mean like I had like such a like Girl, I had such a connection. A yeah, like, like that. I, it's happened. Yeah. Literally. So it's, I had such a whirlwind yeah. um romance with them. And like, so I really thought that this is going somewhere. I really thought, oh my gosh, we met in a subway train. He took me out to my Italian, my favorite this Italian is a story restaurant. We're gonna tell our grandchildren. <laughs> 
why do women do that? We do this. We, we do, do this. Do it, and so yeah. so he's like, okay, well, it's really nice meeting you. I really like you. Like, let's do this again. The next day, he barely texts me. He barely messaged me. And I'm just like, okay, my, my, my spidey senses are tingling. What's going on with this guy? Why isn't he, like, texting me? Why isn't he into me? We, um, I look you know, I Google search, Google image search, do mm-hmm. do my my Finsta, my fake Instagram account, <laughs> all these things. I do that, and he's married. No, he's married, and I'm oh just like, oh my god, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. I forgot, Gabby. So, how do we have so many married men stories? We're not, we're not looking for this. We don't <laughs> want this. I do not want a married man. If there is a married man listening to this podcast right now, I am not interested. <laughs> Get away from me. Jesus. Literally. And you know, okay, I didn't even tell you the best part of the story. So. In part two. <laughs> In part two. The best part of the story, I was, this was like a month or two, maybe two months ago, I recently joined um, a gym in the area and I've been working out, I've been like getting my uh, Zumba in, getting my elliptical in, whatever. I walk in this morning, a sunny, beautiful morning. I walk in, I see the guy, the married man. Oh no. And when I see him, I'm just like, you know, at this point I already know he's married. He doesn't know that I know. He's like, oh, how are you doing? Like, what are you doing later? I would like to take you out. And I said, oh, and I didn't want to cuss him out in the middle of a gym because oh I was God. like late for Zumba. And I was like, Please. I'm late for Zumba. We can talk about this later. And so he's like, okay. After Zumba, didn't see him. I guess he left already. The next morning, I do my elliptical. I leave the elliptical. I see him again. So now this man is a regular gym member at my gym, the married man that I dated. So I'm just like, what is going on? So I run into him, and I happen to be on TikTok Live. I kid you not. This oh was not planned. God. I happened to be on TikTok Live, and I was like, I literally put on the live. I was like, hey, guys. And then as I, I looked up, no, I said, hey, guys. And then he's like, hey, hey, I need to talk to you. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. I had, the, like, everybody on live Panic. was here, <laughs> literally. And then he starts going in and confessing all of his sins to me, confessing that he's on married the on the TikTok How Live. I missed this. Oh, it's oh. on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Does he know? No. It, but, but it wasn't planned. I literally was doing my thing. And then he just, and it's like, why would you talk about such personal details in the middle of the gym? Like, we could have talked about this later or whatever. He's like, no, we're not, we're going to talk about this now. Like, he demanded. Were, were you kind of mentally like, this is gold. This is great. This is great content. I've got proof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was definitely this thinking about that. content gold, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that's amazing. Wow. I, I wish you would have been like, how's the wife? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, like, basically, what he told me was, um, you know, I I didn't tell you this before, but I married. We were we were having problems. I didn't think it was gonna last. I was really interested in you, and you know, I shouldn't have done that. And I'm sorry. I put put you in that position, but um, you know, I just really liked you. And I, I I just I, I just I don't know how you're thinking, how you're feeling, but I really still like to be friends with you. And he's like, and then he's like, well, what are you thinking? And then I was like, um, well, you're married, so I, there's nothing really to think about. You're married. Um, how yeah, does your gonna wife? Go bowling? Like, what the fuck? Literally, like, what are you? How are you feeling about this? Pretty much. So, uh, yeah. So yeah. So then I was like, okay, well, um, thanks for this great content <laughs> in the back of my head, and uh, went home and like, and I was like, still alive. I was like, did you guys hear all that? Like, girl, we heard everything. He has a sexy voice. Who is that? All this thing. I was like, oh Wait, my god. I know the comment is wild. It was TikTok comments are wild in. Okay, mm-hmm. they're wild. So that happened. I was walking home and like, I, the, it was just like a ra- it was a crazy experience. I was like, I can't believe I caught this on live. I can't mm-hmm. believe I caught this on camera. But yeah. And, Have you and seen him since? Oh my gosh. So the next time I saw him, I had to think about it. The next time I saw him, he was at the gym with a, a, another younger, hotter, curvy girl. And I was like, that's not his wife. <laughs> so I was like, who is this? So then when that he could saw, have been you. That, oh <laughs> she probably girl. doesn't even know. Well, so the, the, what happened was he slipped her the slip her the line. <laughs> I wanted to line. so bad. I wanted to get him on live so bad. Um, but like as I was trying to record, she came up behind me and scared me. And like, cause he okay, so they were running. There's like a track, they were running around the track. And so I was like leaving. I was looking for him. As I was looking for him, he's like, hey. And then he starts talking to me. And as I start recording, she comes up behind me. So I'm like, oh no, like I don't, you know, so I just kind of like put it like this. And so he basically said, I just want to let you know, this is my neighbor. 
and we go to the gym together. There's nothing going on. This is just my neighbor. We're just gym. Partners. I love how he's like, <laughs> like explaining his life to you. Like you're just in the gym doing your thing, and he's like, I just want you to know. Right. Like we're not friends. I didn't accept this offer. <laughs> Literally. And so I was like, okay, well, thank you for that. Um, I gotta go. And so that's how that went. <laughs> wow, what a gentleman. Because if it's meant to be, then it'll be a love song.